Oh, well, listen, we are back in the kitchen. Wasty, you get your apron on, and we're about Ready? to whip up a delicious, in fact, we are reinventing a classic dish by adding small twists using your everyday kitchen staples. And that's often the best way to keep the balance right. And you can just add a little bit of pizzazz and most importantly, get more value for your meals. Now with all their fabulous products combined in one new and exciting ways, Added Twist helps you to create mouth-watering dishes with simple ingredients from around the house. Carl, we're about to make a spatchcock chicken with a bacon uh, potato bake. This is this is my jam. This is Sunday. This is this is <laughs> going to be amazing, and we're going to be using a variety of ingredients. So, do you want to start off with the chicken? All right, spatchcock. As you know, it's a whole chicken cut in the middle, bone removed, opened up. That's how it goes. Then we've got some seasoning that's going to go down on here, and then I got some ch chutney. I got some Worcestershire sauce. I've got some tomato paste. I'm going to mix that together to form what is going to be a very balanced uh, basting, and then we're good to go for the oven. So that's what I'm going to do on my side. You have. 10 million more I've got many ingredients. So we've got some shaved potato peels here. In fact, not the potato, with the actual potatoes. We're going to add some kidney beans as well as our ku corn. Just oh, already, you know, you eat with your eyes, you eat the rainbow, and that's just perfect right there. We're going to add a bit of chives as well as some fresh parsley. And then we're going to add, just give it a little bit of a mixture. And then the base for my potato bake is actually going to be some of our ku chakalaka mild and spicy. So I'm just adding it to the bottom. And while you do that, I'm actually getting my basting ready first. So I'm ready to go and ready to rumble after I've seasoned. I've got the Worcestershire sauce down and the chutney and they balance each other out quite beautifully. I'm then introducing the tomato paste. And the great thing here is that you don't have to add any more sugar to try and balance this out. The chutney will do it for you. I love how Worcestershire sauce is the one thing people so say, struggle say, to say, pronounce. Say it again, one more you time. Can say one it. more time. What's it called again? I want to say Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. <laughs> well, that, I feel like we, we grew up, we always knew Worcester sauce. <laughs> yeah, but you can say uh, Worcestershire if you want. Worcestershire? That's entirely up to you. But, uh, okay, I'm just going to get my basting done and, and incorporated. And while you're doing that, that layering that you're doing over there is giving me lasagna vibes. We are doing a little bit of a lasagna potato bake style here. I'm just putting the potatoes evenly spaced so that they can cook through properly because there's nothing worse when you bite into a delicious potato bake yeah. and you still get a bit of, ooh, the potato should have gone a little bit more this side. And what I'm doing now is that I've got some cumin that I went down in here with. I've got salt and pepper. And I'm just going to give this beautiful bird a good old season because that's what we want. We want to get the seasoning going. We want to make sure that it's good. And when it comes to the basting, it's also something that I, I really love. Also, when it comes to the seasoning over here, I'm quite liberal because you know what salt does to the skin of this beautiful bird? It actually dries up some of the moisture from the skin, which means you get a beautiful crackle on the outside if you want to leave it just like that. But for this particular application, what I'm doing is I'm going to give it a baste. So it's already going to get a bath of flavor, mm. which I'm very excited about. I love that and you say a bath of flavor. A bath it's of very flavor. very visual. And that's my bird over there. My basting is ready to rumble, which I'm very, very happy about. And I'm going to baste and this is the vibe we're looking for. Okay, and you know, that when, you know when you've got a good basting, Zoe, is when before it's cooked, it looks like it's ready to eat. I feel oh. like that's your best gauge of a great basting. It's like it has to just get you salivating already before it's cooked. And I mean, that's the anticipation. Problem is with the South African braai, this would be a process that'll take 12 to 13 hours, uh, um, given our cultures here. We love but... to really socialize around the braai, so that's also why it takes so long. So now we're going to add our bacon bits to the top of our potato bake. Shoo! This is a meal on its own. I feel like this shouldn't be a side. This is a special meal by itself. And then we're going to add a little bit of cream as well as milk. I'm actually going to add the two together and then that's going to become the sauce that our potato bakes in. And this will simply go into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until your potatoes are nice and soft. 
And once it is done, you can use your cross and blackwell, the Kazi Magic flavor cheese sauce, and oh, you can just yes. serve it either on top of the potato bake once it's cooked or over the salad. And what's great about the CMB Kazi Magic is it's ready to eat. It's rich and creamy. It is a table sauce made from quality ingredients. They are also convenient, quick flavor solutions, and brilliant additions to any of your Kazi weekend favorites. For example, the Kota, the Gatsby, a Buri Roll, wow. a Maguinha, available. I mean, this is just unbelievable. You can get the sauce in cheesy jalapeno. You can get it in plain cheese. You can get it hot and spicy. And these three flavorful sauces that add excitement to a meal to celebrate and share with friends. And then, of course, Wasty. I love that you used Mrs. Ball's chutney. And what's incredible about that is it's the original chutney recipe, love for its thick, chunky, fruity taste, and ask any South African that's abroad, that's one of the things they love and miss about South Africa. Now, Mrs. Balls is now available in an affordable range of 375 gram squeeze bottles that you can also take anywhere, and you can give your meals that dash of original, thick, fruity, and chunky Mrs. Uh, Balls, or be more daring with the jalapeno chutney and the sweet chili sauce. Well, there you have it. Adding a twist to your recipe has never been so simple. Now, to get your hands on this delicious recipe that myself and Wasty just made, it is available on our website, expressoshow.com. And now, listen up, because this is something that you do not want to miss. Stand a chance to win 5,000 Rand daily with Add a Twist. Buy any of the three participating brands, which is Cross & Blackwell, All Gold, and Koo, Benny, Black Cat, and Mrs. Ball's products. And then you dial star 120 star 1703 hash, or you can WhatsApp 072 561 1231 and follow the prompts. Now, USSD charges at 20 cents. Um, remember to also keep your till slip as proof of purchase. The competition will run until the 22nd of January. That's next year. And T's and C's are also available and they can be found at www.addatwist.co.za. I think we are ready yeah, for a feast. We're, we're going to go in the oven now and uh, you should try this at home. Definitely. Right. Ah, yeah, I'm afraid so. I can sauce, like. Show us, bro, man. This is the stuff. Oh, awesome. Let's go, Leba Feet. With Cross and Blackwell's Gassy Magic Sauces. Available in cheese, hot and spicy, and jalapeno and cheese.